Hello, I'm Kim Slocum, president at Rinker Boats, and today we're going to review the 2019 320 EX Cruiser. This boat is 33 foot length overall, 10 foot 6 inch beam, has an 18 degree dead rise for optimum performance and ride. The um, fuel capacity is 150 gallons, freshwater capacity 33 gallons. Um, this boat is equipped with a twin 300 horse Mercruiser, and these have the Bravo 3 drives and the Secor package, which is also a, a good package for the coastal environments for saltwater. So Mercruiser provides a Secor option that gives you extra protection in the salt environment. Uh, we'll start out on the swim platform here to show you a few features. We've got a nice uh, four-step boarding ladder, which goes deep into the water, which makes it quite easy for boarding. Uh, we have two pull-up cleats. These are nice because they allow you to cross-tie your stern without having a trip line going to the dock. We have a uh, city water hook up here, shore power system hook up there, conveniently placed. Um, the rumble seat also has a nice storage tub underneath, good place for your uh, shore power cords, dock lines, fenders, and so forth. Um, we also have a hot and cold transom shower conveniently located and a transom stereo remote. We use kicker stereos in all of our boats along with kicker premium grade speakers. Another feature I'll show you is the aft folding stern seat which folds down and stops in any position you want to recline or to fold flat for a sun lounge. On the 320, as you enter the walkthrough uh, to the cockpit, you'll see that we have uh, the battery selector switch is conveniently located, right, uh, easy to get to, easy to find and see. Um, we have a nice, well-equipped galley. You can get it with a two cubic foot fridge or in lieu of that, uh, an ice maker. Either one is standard, you have one choice. We also have pop-up blender, which has been very popular. This is a nice storage compartment in the galley. It's also an optional uh, electric grill, which is a very popular feature. Nice storage compartment for all of your gadgets and gear. Then moving forward, we have what we call the social swivel. And this helm seat swivels around so that when you're anchored or docked, you can swivel this around and you're part of the group. Um, the cockpit layout of this boat has been very popular because everybody sits together. So a lot of boats have seating that people are facing away from the rest of the group. This one has a great social uh, cockpit. This boat, uh, as I said earlier, has the uh, 300 horse Bravo 3 Mercruisers for a top speed of 46 mile per hour. Cruises uh, very efficiently at 32, 33 mile per hour. Also, this was equipped with the very popular Axios joystick system, which lets you, gives you a lot of great features. Let you control the boat, you can move it sideways, you can pivot the boat in its own axis. It also has a feature called Skyhook, so if you're coming up to a fuel dock, waiting in line or waiting for a drawbridge to open, you hit the skyhook button, the boat stays put, stays right where you've, uh, where you've hit the button. Uh, it also has um, auto heading, which is kind of an autopilot. You can steer to a compass heading you want, hit auto heading, the boat will maintain that course. Also, you can program in waypoints into the Raymarine hybrid touch screen. This is a, a navigation chart and radar. The radar is an option, but the nav chart is standard. Uh, you can program in waypoints and plug that in and the boat will steer itself right to those waypoints. Very well laid out helm. Uh, we have the vessel view screen, which is standard with the Axios system. It gives you uh, it tells you everything you want to know about the engines and what they're doing. And it's, it's digital, so it is very accurate, much more so than the old style analog gauges. 
This boat is equipped with, it's standard with Lenco trim tabs. This one has the auto glide tabs, which allows the user to program in a presetting that once that's set, you really don't have to operate the tabs anymore. When you're at slow speed at idle and gear, the tabs automatically deploy, fold down, so that the boat planes off quickly with a little bow rise. And then as the boat speed increases and the pitch changes, the tabs start to retract and come up to the point where the boat's running at its most optimum um, angle in the water. We've got a compass, depth gauge, lots of drink holders. Um, this boat also has the very popular optional hardtop option, which most buyers want. You don't have the large bimini frame. Um, the canvas is much easier to use, um, easy to put up, take down, and you get lots of nice weather and sun protection with this. Um, we also have a nice convenient trash container here. This boat has three trash containers, one here in the cockpit, one in the uh, cabin galley, and one in the head compartment. Also the flooring on this is uh, the optional marine mat, very popular, very nice, soft on the feet, very good footing, no slip. Also on our VHF radio, we have an option, or it's a standard, uh, extra external speaker right next to the skipper so that when you're out and you've got uh, wave and wind noise and you're cruising you can easily hear uh, VHF transmissions coming over the radio. Uh, we place our kicker speakers up in the hardtop so that the sound fills the cockpit much better than speakers down placed down low. So we always try and place our speakers up in higher locations for better sound quality. We have um, a nice gadget storage helm. Great place to, to throw your gadgets, your phone, whatever it may be. Um, a nice chart storage compartment right here. And then also, very convenient, for the walkthrough to the bow, We've got a nice handhold right here. So you've got a nice secure um, entry and exit off the bow of the boat. When entering the cabin of the 320EX, first thing you'll notice is a large amount of headroom. We have six foot five inches of headroom in our cabin. So it's easy for to walk around, move about, no ducking, no knocking your head on anything. As we move forward to the V-berth, we've got a unique nice fixed skylight system here and also a convenient shade that slides for if you're overnighting on the boat. We also have a opening deck hatch here that is uh, screened and also has a sliding sunshade on that for people that are overnighting on the boat. Nice um, comfortable foam padding in this V-berth. Um, we also have uh, air conditioning ducted up here, several points throughout the cabin. Um, we have a, it comes standard with a 12,000 BTU air conditioning and heat system. That's standard on the boat. Also, we have nice overhead storage bins here in the V-berth. Privacy curtain swings out. If you've got uh, people sleeping in the aft cabin and you're in the V-berth, you've got more privacy. There's also a privacy curtain for the aft cabin. Over to the galley, uh, we've got a full featured galley, microwave, TV, uh, a stove cooktop, another convenient trash container, a nice unique utensil storage here in the galley. So you've got a nice, got dividers in it for all your utensils to stow. Lots of storage cabinets everywhere for all of your essentials, all of your provisions. We use LED lighting throughout the cabin, so very little power consumption, and also they don't build up any heat. Um, two cubic foot fridge and combination freezer. There's also a dinette table that plugs into this receptacle here if you're having snacks on the boat. Um, also, the port lights, the side port lights are opening and screened so you get you get light and also ventilation um, nice comfortable couch 
um, with storage also, convenient storage underneath. That's where the table stows for the cabin. The, the head module is all fiberglass lined for easy maintenance and cleanup. Um, we have a convenient mirror here so that uh, when you've dressed for the evening, you're going to go ashore to the local dockside bar. You can uh, take a look in the mirror, especially popular with my wife. Um, we've got a nice uh, shower in here, also a trash container in the head. This boat has the optional electric flush head and a nice convenient mirror for makeup and for shaving and then nice uh, overhead storage compartment for all of your soaps and so forth. All of our cruisers including the 320EX uh, have standard hardwood flooring in the cabin for low maintenance and easy cleanup and they're very durable. The aft cabin has a nice queen size berth, also an optional TV and uh, storage compartments throughout. Um, also a nice privacy curtain, so it's a nice comfortable place for two adults to, to overnight on.